J-Make the Fanatic, and I'm back. This one's going to be a quick review. It's a Swingman Rookie Zion Williamson jersey. This one just came in from Fanatics. I picked it up. It retailed at $135, $134.99, okay? I got this for like, I think, 30% off, I think. So they're having a sale right now on a bunch of shit. That I noticed they have a sale almost every day, which is pretty cool. You get like a certain percent off, maybe it's 20%, maybe 30 one day, maybe even more one day. So especially around the holidays. So this is uh, a couple seasons old now. This is a rookie Zion Williamson jersey. So I think that's probably why it was on sale. I like it. It's pretty cool. It's got the sponsor patch, although it's the old sponsor patch. Okay. We're going to take a closer look. And I myself am becoming a fan of Zion Williamson now that he can stay healthy, apparently. Okay, uh, he is like, wow, he is like a Barkley 2.0, a Larry Johnson 2.0 with more skill and talent. Not, not, not more overall skill, but more athleticism, I should say. All right. So he is more like, before we compare him to Barkley level, he is like an LJ, Larry Johnson. But I think he's already, you know, probably better, uh, you know, because Larry Johnson extended his range to three points with the Knicks out to the three-point land, but, but you know, he's already got that range, even though he barely shoots it from there. If you leave him wide open, he'll make it. Uh, and the, 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 the speed and the force with which he drives the ball from the top is just like, he's going to barrel his way to the basket, and you cannot stop him. He's way too strong. He still, he looks in way better shape. He still looks like he has a little belly. Imagine if he, you know, becomes like, I mean, he's never going to be like a prime Sean Kemp body, but like, you know, that's part of his advantage. What gives him his advantage is that bulkiness. So I, I think he's he's always going to be super bulky, which is fine, but he could slim down just a tad more, I think, um, to be just, you know, he's already looks unstoppable at around the hoop. Okay. He's averaging out. I don't know, 24, 25 points. He is in the top 10, I'd say, for sure, easily in MVP race this season, okay? Especially because they've been missing Ingram for several games, okay? Um, Let's take a closer look. So like I was saying, this is the sponsor patch or the sponsor they had that the Pelicans had in their Zion's rookie season. Now, uh... I don't really have a clue what the hell this is, but <laughs> okay. He pressed Nike swoosh. Everything is standard to a swingman jersey here from a couple seasons ago. The gold collar or, you know, bronze, whatever you want to call it, type of uh, gold, bronze. Uh, New Orleans across the chest. With the out the navy outlining gold, I love this font. I love this font. I wish they would blow up this font just a little bit, you know. But I love how the Pelicans matches this type of like it's like a bird, right? That's why the Pelican obviously is a bird, and that's why I like that the font has a Pelican type look to it. If that makes any sense, all right? They incorporated that into the font. It's not some fucking boring ass motherfucking font which new Nike usually does, all right? I love the side panels. Again, it's incorporating the fucking Pelican. It reminds you of the fucking Bill or some shit. And they have a beautiful colorway, okay? Gold, navy, and this bright red, okay? Um, it's on both sides. This is an extra large. Now, it came wrinkled as fuck. You can tell this is an older jersey because it was Nike Connect. Now, which means you can fucking see some meaningless shit on your phone, but, you know, so you can see there, and indeed, there's the circle in there, the chip. All right, so now, uh, same thing with the number, navy, gold outline. What was I going to say? Uh, what was I going to say? You know, this is the old style swingman, so no opening here. Uh... 
Oh, that it came wrinkled as fuck. Look at how wrinkled. That's my only complaint. Is look at how fucking wrinkled this shit came. Wow. Jesus. But hey, that's easily remedied. Okay. Williamson on the back. I really would, you know, this jersey's okay. And I plan to uh, go to, I hope really that he fucking plays, but I have tickets to see the Timberwolves Pelicans last game of the season, literally last game of the season. So I think that'll be a meaningful game, hopefully for both teams. Maybe they're trying to get the one seed. We'll see. Maybe they don't care. Maybe the, um, maybe the Timberwolves are trying to just make the playoffs. So they have to win. But I really hope everyone plays in that game, especially this guy. As you can see, this uh, like rubber type uh, fucking NBA heat press logo. Okay, everything is fucking standard. Okay, now to end the video, uh, I was gonna tell you that I have tickets to this game, and I hope I fucking see this guy play, man, because I haven't seen him play yet in person. Uh, so that'll be cool. That's it for this pickup. I hope that I can upgrade in the future. If they ever fucking release motherfucking Nike, if they ever fucking release an authentic in the white or the red, I'm going to pick it up. They have it in the Navy, but I'm just not crazy about it in the Navy. Um, I just prefer the other two colorways better. I mean, like, I already have Navy jerseys as well, so I kind of want something else. And uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys.